October 2022. The United States drops the hammer. Export controls, chip bans. The most sophisticated technology embargo in human history. The message to Beijing was absolute. We control the hardware. We control the future. Your AI dreams end here. And for two years, Washington believed it was working. They built a great wall around the silicon and trapped China on the wrong side. But here's what nobody in the White House saw coming. What if you don't need to climb the wall? What if you just dig a tunnel underneath? Last week, a Chinese lab published research that doesn't break the rules of the embargo. It renders them irrelevant. They found the weak point in the American strategy, and they just exploited it with pure, brutal ingenuity. To understand what just happened, you need to understand the weapon America thought it had. The 2022 chip export controls weren't just restrictions. They were a declaration of technological war. No NVIDIA A100s, no H100s, nothing that could power frontier AI. The strategy was brutal. Starve the dragon before it grows. Because modern AI has one absolute dependency, high bandwidth memory, HBM. This is the ultra fast, ultra expensive memory that sits directly on the GPU. It is the race fuel for artificial intelligence. And here's the problem. There's never enough of it. Even US labs treat HBM like liquid gold. The entire industry is bottlenecked by this one resource. Now imagine being a Chinese AI company. You're already years behind, and suddenly you can't even buy the fuel for the race. Every major supplier, SK Hynix, Micron, Samsung, was ordered to stop selling to China. The supply chain was locked down at every choke point. Washington thought this was game over, a strategic masterstroke. But they forgot one thing. Constraints don't always kill innovation. Sometimes they force it. Enter DeepSeek. This is the same Chinese AI lab that shocked the world just weeks ago. The ones that matched GPT-4 performance at a fraction of the cost. Wall Street panicked. Tech stocks plunged. Because if China can build AI this cheaply, what's the point of America's trillion dollar spending spree? Now they've done it again. But this time, it's not about money. It's about survival. DeepSeek just published research on a system called Engram. And it's not an upgrade. It's a jailbreak. Let me explain this simply, because this is the mechanics of the heist. Current AI models are incredibly wasteful. They try to keep everything they know inside that expensive, restricted HBM memory. It's like trying to memorize the entire internet before you answer a single question. It's exhausting. It's inefficient. And crucially, it requires chips that China isn't allowed to buy. Engram changes the physics. It realizes that 95% of an AI's knowledge is cold. It doesn't need to be in the fast lane. So DeepSeek built a system to offload all that static knowledge into standard system RAM. The cheap stuff. The memory you can buy at Best Buy. The memory that has zero sanctions on it. They decoupled memory from reasoning. The expensive HBM is now only used for the active thinking. The hot data. Everything else sits in the cheap, infinite pool of RAM. Here's the perfect metaphor to understand why the White House is sweating. The US controls the race fuel the high-octane HBM that everyone thought was essential to run the engine. So China didn't try to steal the fuel. They re-engineered the engine to run on tap water. Now let me show you why this isn't just clever. It's devastating. DeepSeek's 27 billion parameter engram model outperformed traditional models by 3.4 to 4 points on knowledge tasks and by 3.7 to 5 points on reasoning tasks. But the real breakthrough is in the architecture itself. The optimal configuration allocates just 20 to 25% of the model to Engram memory. That means 75 to 80% of the expensive GPU resources can focus purely on computation. On long context tests, the kind where models have to find specific information buried in massive amounts of text, Engram achieved 97% accuracy. Traditional models? 84%. But here's the nuclear bomb buried in the research performance scales linearly with memory size without increasing compute costs. Read that again. You can keep adding cheap system RAM and the model keeps getting smarter without needing more GPU power. This means AI capability is no longer bounded purely by expensive, sanctioned hardware. 
the constraint shifts to cheap, abundant, completely unrestricted DRAM. The choke point the sanctions depended on just developed a crack, and it's widening. Let's zoom out and see what just happened on the geopolitical chessboard. The United States spent billions building a technological fortress. Export controls, diplomatic pressure, supply chain monitoring. A total economic blockade on advanced AI hardware. The strategy assumed one thing, that there was no way around the hardware bottleneck. That HBM was non-negotiable. That you couldn't build frontier AI without American chips. That assumption just took a critical hit. DeepSeek didn't try to smuggle chips. They didn't try to reverse engineer NVIDIA GPUs. They didn't beg for sanctions relief. They did something more dangerous. They found architectural workarounds that weakened the choke point. This is the nightmare scenario for American policymakers. Not that China catches up despite the restrictions, but that China engineers around the core dependency those restrictions exploit. Because now, every AI lab in China, and frankly, everywhere else, has a blueprint for reducing dependence on the exact hardware America controls. The implications cascade outward like a shockwave. NVIDIA's leverage shifts from absolute dependency to performance premium. If you can build competitive models with less HBM, the stranglehold loosens. SK Hynix and Micron? Their monopoly on AI memory faces new competitive dynamics. System RAM is made by dozens of companies worldwide. American strategic leverage? The margin narrows. You can still restrict cutting-edge hardware, but the gap between sanctioned and competitive just shrunk. This is what strategic failure looks like. Not a military defeat. An engineering end run that makes your most expensive weapon useless. And here's what should terrify Washington. This isn't the first time. A few weeks ago, DeepSeek released their V3 model, trained for less than $6 million, matching performance that cost open AI hundreds of millions. Now this, a memory architecture that bypasses the hardware choke point entirely. A pattern is emerging, and it's not a good one for American dominance. China isn't trying to beat the US at its own game. They're changing the rules of the game. While America focuses on building bigger, more powerful, more expensive AI systems, China is focusing on efficiency, on doing more with less, on finding the clever workarounds. It's asymmetric warfare applied to technology, and it's working. The US strategy was built on an assumption of continued hardware superiority, but hardware superiority only matters if you can't engineer around it. DeepSeek just proved you can. The research paper hints that Engram is an indispensable modeling primitive for next-generation sparse models. Translation, this is just the beginning. Their upcoming V4 model is rumored to implement Engram at scale. If that's true, we're about to see a Chinese AI model that's both cheaper to train and more capable than its American competitors. The question isn't whether China can compete anymore. It's whether America can keep up with their pace of innovation. We're watching the pillars of American AI strategy collapse in real time. First pillar, hardware dominance. China just showed they can work around it. Second pillar, chip sanctions, made obsolete by architectural innovation. Third pillar, cost advantage. DeepSeek's models are cheaper to train and run than American equivalents. What's left? The United States still has the most advanced chips, the biggest tech companies, the most money. But China has something more dangerous, constraint-driven innovation, the kind that only comes when you have no other choice. History shows us that empires built on resource advantages eventually fall to those who learn to do more with less. Rome had the gold. The Mongols had the horses. Britain had the coal. But in every case, someone figured out they didn't need what everyone thought was essential. So here's the chilling question that should be echoing through every Pentagon briefing room right now. If hardware bans no longer work, if chip sanctions can be engineered around, if China can build frontier AI without American technology, what will the United States try next to stop them? Because one thing is certain, the tunnel under the wall has been dug, and the trap that was supposed to contain China just became a cage for American strategy. The AI race isn't over, but the rules just changed, and nobody's sure who's winning anymore. Drop your thoughts below. Is this a genuine breakthrough or overhyped? 
and subscribe because this story is evolving by the day and you don't want to miss what happens next.